Hello and welcome to another quick video from the Great British Woodshop. Today's project is a upholstered footstool. The student is currently cutting slots for hardwood biscuits that we'll use for the construction of this little cabinet. Biscuits have been around for a long time. They're an alignment tool really, but they essentially create a mortise and tenon joint very, very easily. With glue applied to the biscuit, they swell up in the joint and form a very, very tight fit. Um, alignment is uh, done very easily when you use a biscuit cutter like this and you can assemble the entire cabinet without any visible means of joints which is a nice finish to it. Um, once that's on the cabinet gets clamped up and we wipe off any glue or any squeeze out that comes out now because if you don't it'll stain and if you let it dry uh, when you go to put a finish on it, whether it's an oil finish or a sprayed finish, it will uh, mark it. You won't uh, be able to finish it properly. This intermediate little shelf is actually the base of the footstool rest itself. That's it. That's it. Well, that's and that's easy. being assembled with pocket hole, yeah. another type of joinery. Uh, pocket hole joinery, you do see the pocket holes. In this case, of course, it'll be covered by the cushion, so it doesn't really matter. Uh, but it's a way of us teaching students how to use different methods of joinery. So once these screws are in, we will then uh, yeah. upholster the base and it starts of course with cutting some foam. Now it's marked out just with a marking pen, laying the base uh, of the cap, or base of the footstool um, on top of the foam, marking it out with a marker pen. And you could cut this with scissors or even with a, one of those old electric carving knives, uh, works well on foam. But as we have a bandsaw here in the workshop, it's very easy to cut it with that. Once that's done, we'll take the uh, rectangular plywood base, uh, put that down on the workbench along with the foam and some fabric to be able to measure out the actual size of the fabric we need. Once we've worked that out, and this one is in particularly uh, nice straight pattern, but anytime you're working with patterns that are striped, uh, it presents a little more of a problem with upholstery because if you pull it in any which way, uh, that's not even then you you don't get straight lines so once this is folded up around the base now you're going to cut she's now going to cut in at around 45 degree angle after securing that's that fabric in place and we like mm -hmm. to cut it to about a centimeter from the corner then we'll do a little tucking and folding and place the upholstered base into the cabinet then we'll add four little legs to the bottom of it and we have a completed cabinet we hope you've enjoyed this little video and we hope to see you at the Great British Woodshop. Thanks for watching.